What's up guys, Chode here. Today we're having a Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle in the OU tier against my girlfriend. Looking at her team, she's got a pretty damn bulky team over there. Pretty balanced, actually. Rocking the Clefable, Tangrowth, Mega Charizard X, the Starmie, Nidoking, and the Bisharp. While looking at my team, my team is utter trash. This team I literally put together in like two minutes. I didn't even realize till after the battles that I had like five special attackers and one physical attacker. So, the set information is in the description below as usual, but I would not advise using this team. It is complete ass. But, um, yeah, anyway, look at my team. We've got the Ash Greninja, the Meloetta Pure Wet form. We also have a Blacephalon, because I have yet to use one and I kind of wanted to. We also have the Magearna, which is one of my favorite 7th Gen Mons. We have a Hydreigon, which is not the standard Hydreigon set. And finally, we have the Thunderous Therian form, so... Unfortunately, this battle wasn't the closest in the world. We actually had three battles. The first battle, she 5-0'd me. The second battle, I 5-0'd her. And then there's this battle. So, unfortunately, it's not the closest, but it's the closest game that we had together. And after three tries, we just honestly got frustrated. <laughs> we were trying to get like a really close game that was upload-worthy, but... We just decided, fuck it, we're just gonna go with this one because it was the closest one we had. So, I hope you guys will enjoy. So the battle begins, my opponent is going to lead off their Clefable as I'm going to lead off with my Greninja. Now obviously this is not the best of situations for your boy here, so I'm going to swap out. I don't want to take any of what this Clefable is cooking, so I'm going to bring out my Magearna here as my opponent is going to take this opportunity to set up some free Stealth Cox. Now obviously that is never a good thing, but unfortunately for me I didn't really have any way of circumventing that. I do have the Defog on my Hydreigon, but obviously I don't want to bring in Hydreigon on a damn Fairy type. So here, I'm going to bring in my Blacephalon, predicting my opponent to bring out the uh, Tangrowth, because I know it does get the access to Earthquake uh, for my Magearna and stuff. So that is exactly what my opponent does, and she knows from our previous battle that I do have the Mind Blown, and uh, it does a dick load of damage to her Tangrowth, even through its Assault Vest. So I kind of figured she would probably swap and try to conserve her Tangrowth, and I kind of figured my safest play was just to go for the Shadow Ball, as it is neutral to most of her Mons. She actually brings out the Nido King and takes a dick load of damage from that Shadow Ball. And uh, she decides that she wants to conserve her Nido King as well. And uh, swaps out this time into the Bisharp to eat the Shadow Ball. Now here, I kind of figured my Blacephalon was pretty much done. Because had I swapped and she went for Pursuit, Blacephalon would have definitely died. And uh, even if I stayed in and she went for Pursuit, I probably still would have died. So kind of figured my safest play was just basically just to stay in here and try to go for another Shadow Ball, praying she didn't go for the Sucker Punch and uh, just try to get some chip damage off. And that is exactly what happened. So uh, here, <laughs> this Meloetta play was fucking terrible. All right, Daddy's a little special sometimes. For whatever reason, I thought Meloetta was already in its pirouette form, normal fighting. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I have no idea why the hell I did that. But uh, she's just going to be able to Sucker Punch Meloetta and kill it as I bring in my Greninja now. Basically just trying to activate Ash Greninja. And uh, unfortunately for me, my opponent is going to go for the uh, the Sucker Punch on Greninja and kill herself to her own Life Orb. So now I am not able to activate Ash Greninja. My opponent is now going to bring out the Tangrowth. I'm actually going to swap here because I don't want to lose my uh, Greninja just yet. So... I'm going to bring out Toothless as my opponent goes for the Giga Drain here. Obviously it's resisted, so it's going to do like nothing. And uh, this is a bulky Hydreigon set, so I'm actually max HP, max defense on this Hydreigon. It's uh, definitely an interesting set. It's more utility. I actually have the Defog and stuff like Thunder Wave and stuff, so I'm just going to go for the Defog there to get rid of the uh, Stealth Cox because uh, it definitely helps out my team, especially, well, Blacephalon's no longer with us, but it also helps out my, uh, my Thunderous, so... Here, my opponent's going to knock off my uh, my freaking leftovers, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and swap out into my Thunderous now, as my opponent actually predicted that pretty well and went for the HP Ice, but I am Assault Vested, so I'm actually going to eat that. I'm actually going to go for the knockoff myself and knock off this damn Assault Vest on this thing, so it's definitely a lot more manageable now. So she's actually going to knock off my Assault Vest, and uh, so we both knocked off each other's Assault Vest. It's kind of funny, so... Here, I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch and uh, swap out back into my Magearna once again. So, here, I kind of figured now that this thing's lost its Assault Vest, I can basically just set up as my opponent is going to go for the HP Ice. Obviously, Magearna resists that. 
And uh, here I'm just going to go for the shift gear. It's going to basically give me an attack boost, which doesn't matter. And uh, it also gives me a plus two speed boost. So here my opponent is obviously going to go for the earthquake. I knew that I could take one from our previous battle, barring a crit. And uh, that is exactly what happened. So thankfully she did not, she did not crit me there. And uh, I'm able to set up to plus two speed. And uh, here I'm just going to go for the uh, corkscrew crash. Uh, steal Z move or whatever and uh, fuck up this Tangros day here. So Magirna fucking goes on a damn rampage. <laughs> I actually had a, I think I mentioned it earlier, but I had a battle previous to this one and Blacephalon just fucking dick down our entire team. <laughs> or wait, no, I, this is like the 15th time that I'm recording this video. I think I mentioned it in another video or another take of this video, but anyway, yeah, Blacephalon unfortunately didn't do anything this battle, but holy hell. It, it literally digged down her entire team one time, so... Anyway, so here she's gonna bring out the Starmie, and for whatever reason she goes for the Reflect type. Honestly, she would have been better off just going for the Scald and trying to get damage, or hell, even trying to get the burn, but... Yeah, for whatever reason she went for that, I don't know. I guess maybe she gave up at this point, because Magirna is honestly just going to obliterate her team here, so... I'm just gonna go for a Flash Cannon there, and uh, get my second Soul Heart here, raising my special attack. And uh, here my opponent is going to bring out the Charizard. Now here, my opponent makes a really questionable play as I go for the Dazzling Gleam here. I kind of thought that maybe she would just Mega Evolve right away, but she didn't Mega Evolve, which was actually a good play on her part, but unfortunately she goes for the Dragon Dance. She should, she definitely should have attacked me, because this, I mean, Charizard usually has like Flare Blitz and Earthquake, so she definitely could have gone for the attack and uh, killed my Magirna there, but for whatever reason she didn't, and uh, that's going to allow Magirna to kill off the Charizard. It's funny, I actually outsped the Charizard too. She was at plus one speed, but I guess plus two speed Magirna is just too fast. And uh, here, my opponent goes out into the Clefable. I go for the Flash Cannon, and to my surprise, this fucking Clefable lives that. I'm at like plus three special attack. And it still lived that shit. So that thing's gotta be like max HP, max special defense, or something crazy. Because that thing is tanky as all hell. But uh, unfortunately for my opponent, I'm just gonna be able to go for another flash cannon here and kill off the Clefable. And I believe her last mon is the uh, the Nido King that's already hurt. But honestly, even at full health, I don't think Nido King would uh, would live an attack from Magirna. So that is game, good game, Bay. And uh, I know this game wasn't the closest, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. I certainly did. And uh, hopefully the next game will be better. But I love you guys. Peace out.